How's it going gamers? Luis here with Gaming Vlog Network and today I got into the Xbox Preview Program. This is a program from Microsoft that lets you test out different beta features for your Xbox One before they're actually released to the public. Some of these features currently available right now, at least to preview owners or preview program users, are the backwards compatibility program which allows you to play 360 games on your Xbox One and the game streaming feature that allows you to play your Xbox One games on your Windows 10 PC via game streaming. Now since I don't own any 360 games supported with the backwards compatibility list right now, today I'll be demoing the game streaming feature from my Xbox One over to my MacBook Pro running Windows 10. So if you like the idea of this video, be sure to give it a like and share with your friends on Facebook and Twitter as it really helps me out and it'll let me know that I should do more of these types of videos. So in order to do this, you're going to need two things. An Xbox One inside the preview program. You can actually do this by asking a friend who actually is in the program already to invite you over to the program. And besides that, you also need a Windows 10 PC. If you have a computer already running Windows and you want to install Windows 10, it's actually free right now if you get the Preview Developer Program, which is available on Microsoft's website. So I'll have a link to that in the description below. So on your Xbox One, go ahead and install the Wireless Display Extension application once you're in the Preview Program. This is basically the application on your Xbox One that lets you stream it over to your PC. On your Windows 10 PC, open up the Xbox application and sign in to the gamertag that's on your Xbox One. Once you're signed in, go ahead and go into the Streaming Connect feature that's on the sidebar of the application. If your Windows 10 PC and your Xbox One are both on the same network, you should automatically see it pop up in the list of supported to connected devices. Go ahead and just connect to it and you should be good. If you don't see your Xbox One automatically in the list of supported devices, Go ahead and enter the IP address of your Xbox One within the little type box. You can actually find the IP address of your Xbox One by just going over to the system settings on your Xbox One and you should be good to go. Once your Xbox One is connected over to your Windows 10 PC, just go ahead and click the game streaming feature and it should automatically just start streaming over to your Windows 10 PC. Now while you're game streaming, you could have it set to three different options, low, medium, and high. These will basically change up the graphics of your Xbox One stream, so the lower they are, the more blurry they look, and the higher it is, the better it looks. With that said, if you don't have that much of a great internet connection, the higher you are, the much more lag and delay you get with your game streaming. So set these settings appropriately compared to that of your internet speed. I found that medium was pretty good if you're on average internet speed, and if you actually have much faster than average internet, then you should be good with high. For my own personal experience of testing out this new feature, I found that most games work pretty well with this feature, except the shooters. Games like shooters that require precise aiming accuracy are much harder to play while game streaming, and that's just a thing not with Xbox, but entirely with all game streaming services. With that said, however, everything else works about fine. I got to personally try out the Halo Master Chief Collection and Sunset Overdrive, and besides the aiming accuracy, Everything was pretty much set. The platforming and just the running gun style of Sunset Overdrive worked really well with the game and I had some great times with it. So as you can see in the shunt, I have my Xbox One playing on the television set and it's also being streamed over to my MacBook Pro. And then you can see the slight delay with the game streaming feature. It's not too significant that it actually alters a lot of the gameplay in all your games but it does make a difference in things like shooters. Additionally, here is how they look graphically side by side. On the right, we have the direct game capture from my Xbox One running through my Elgato HD PVR. And on the left, we have the direct capture using Camtasia on my MacBook Pro. Now the resolution of my MacBook Pro is 1280 by 800, so that's the resolution it's running on in terms of the game streaming. So it is slightly different. Overall, game streaming is pretty awesome on Xbox One. For a beta feature, it works pretty well and it's just pretty much on par with most of the game streaming services I've used already like Remote Play and PlayStation Now. I'm definitely excited to see the final release of this feature and see how much it's improved since I played it on the beta and when it comes out to the public. So if you guys enjoyed this type of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, it really helps me out. And I'll be sure to do more of these types of videos. If you guys want to keep up to date with me, be sure to hit up the social network links in the description below. I have my Twitter, Facebook, and just about everything else down there, including my gaming usernames for Xbox, PlayStation and Nintendo so we can game together. Thank you all for being some awesome viewers and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.